In this week's episode of One Piece, Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates are formally introduced to Ino Arashi, one of the leaders of the Mink Kingdom, otherwise known as Duke Dogstorm. Lots of stuff going down in this week's episode of One Piece, so let's not waste any time. Duke freaking Dogstorm. Is that name just not really fun to say? Duke Dogstorm is one of the two leaders of the Mink tribe. In fact, they have two rulers, one who rules during the day and one who rules during the night. The leader, Ino Arashi, Duke Dogstorm, rules during the day, with his counterpart, Master Cat Viper, ruling the nighttime. They're a dog and a cat, and guess what? They don't get along. Duke Dogstorm, unlike the other members of the Mink tribe, is absolutely massive for being just a dog mink. And, just like the other dog minks, he wants to eat Brooke's crotch. However, the sunglasses-wearing canine has seen a lot of action in the last couple of weeks, and he quickly passes out before he can tell the story of what really happened when Jack was attacking the Mink Kingdom. Little fact about the Mink Tribe, whenever it is time for the Night Ruler to come out, everyone who actually operates during the day just immediately goes to sleep, almost like clockwork, including this one new character who goes by the name of Cecilian, who is this lion who is a part of Duke Dogstorm's Royal Guard. He's a member of the Three Musketeers. They even dress like the classic literary characters themselves. But Cecilian is awesome. He's so over the top and hilarious. I love how hypocritical he is, too, because he's trying to train some of his soldiers and trying to toughen them up a little, and he never wants them to speak about things which are, like, sweet, like foods, or even just being affectionate with your friends and family. It really pisses him off. But when he sees Luffy, he immediately gets right up in his face, prostrates himself right before him, starts to cry, and then starts to hug him. So fast, by the way, that it actually causes friction between both of their faces. He really takes the whole Garchu thing seriously. And when everybody starts to fall asleep, he's trying his damnedest to stay up, and he's trying to say he's at full power, but it totally doesn't work. Cecilian is a character that, in the manga version, I really didn't care about all that much. Seeing him in the anime... He's freaking great! The rest of the episode goes back to the flashbacks with Jack as he's destroying the city Godzilla style when suddenly he's confronted by the Three Musketeers and even Duke Dogstorm himself, which brings this episode to a quick close. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of One Piece? I'm just going to get straight to it. Whatever animation team was working on this episode, man, they are a perverted bunch. I swear to God, every single female character in this episode their breasts doubled in size. And I mean, this is One Piece. Just about every single female character is bombastic as hell. But it was kind of distracting, especially from Nico Robin, not to mention Tristan, the sexy squirrel nurse. My favorite thing about this episode, however, was finally getting to see Duke Dogstorm and just getting to see how ridiculously huge he actually is. I can't wait to learn a little bit more about his story and getting to see all of the things that he suffered in his battles against Jack. It's very evident that he has seen better days. It even looks like that he is missing limbs. But now that I think about it, my favorite thing about this episode has to be Cecilian. That character was just so damn funny in this episode. I love that he's actually picking up the houses that the Mink tribe lives in and throwing them at his subordinates when he gets really pissed off. He's just got a lot of energy and he's just a really goofy looking character. I mean, he's a lion dressed up as a musketeer and he even has a little twirly mustache. What's not to love? Oh, and that whole thing about Luffy actually talking about the ninja and the samurai at the very end of last week's episode, it really doesn't go anywhere, aside from just seeing a scene where the other members of the Straw Hat crew, basically those being Brook, Nami, and Usopp, just beating the fuck out of Luffy. So the big takeaway from the episode, Duke Dogstorm is the leader during the day. Neko Zymon, otherwise known as Master Cat Viper, rules during the night, and we get to see a little bit more of Jack's attack, not to mention the introduction of Cecilia and a really great character, and lots of giant breastesses. This was a pretty solid episode of One Piece all around. I really enjoyed it. And I'm really enjoying this arc overall, and a lot of that is definitely due to the setting and, of course, the characters themselves, the Mink Tribe. They're just absolutely fantastic, despite the fact that some of the more background-looking ones, especially during the flashback sequence with Jack, kind of look like Disney character rejects, but whatever. Is anybody else getting a Zootopia vibe? 
So overall, I really loved this episode of One Piece, and that's why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Check it out, One Piece fans. You'll definitely see something you like. But if any of you did watch this week's episode of One Piece, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? Did you have a favorite scene? What did you think of the introduction of Duke Dogstorm? And what do you want to see from the rest of the Zo arc? Thank you guys for watching this review, I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and like this video. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!